my friends and welcome to Art Fashion Channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And in this video, I'm gonna customize flannel shirt. Um, actually, it's not a shirt, it's a jacket. Or how do they call them? A shacket. <laughs> and shackets have been very trendy lately. And you could find them in any fast fashion store. But of course, I didn't buy the shacket in a fast fashion store. I bought it in a thrift store. So I have a unique shacket. And to make it even more unique, I decided to customize it. But it's gonna be quite a challenge because uh, flannel fabric is not the best fabric for painting it's so hard to paint on such fabric but on my channel I try to prove that you can paint on any kind of clothes so let's prove it one more time in this video <laughs> let's get started and I'm gonna paint right on the mannequin I think it will be easier for me to paint on the mannequin than painting on the table and first thing which I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cover up uh, the pattern with white fabric paint. Uh, yeah, not only fabric makes painting on flannel shirts so hard, but pattern as well. Uh, because to create some decent artwork, I need to cover up the pattern and to create some kind of a base layer for whole design. And yeah, let's try to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna use a white fabric paint of brand Pebeo, uh, opaque fabric paint for painting on dark clothes and has a good coverage. And if you want to paint on flannel uh, shirts, you definitely need paints with a good coverage uh, to cover up the pattern. Uh, and even though I said that it's hard to paint on flannel fabric, now I understand that actually it's not that hard. It's probably the same like painting on denim fabric. Okay, I think that this area is enough for my design and I know that pattern is still noticeable uh, and of course I could put two, three more layers of paint to cover it up completely uh, but then my artwork would become so stiff and I don't want it to happen so I hope that this slightly noticeable pattern will not damage my artwork and now I need to let this layer dry and as I don't want to wait, I'm drying it with a hairdryer Well, now when layer is dry, it's time to create an artwork. And I want to create artwork in my favorite style, which looks amazing on jackets. It's a graffiti style, uh, you know, a mix of different images, writing, strokes. Also, I want to use spray paint. Uh, I want to add it with color, so I decided to use neon green color spray paint. Uh, but at the same time, I want to keep, you know, this grunge aesthetic of flannel shirt. Uh, so I want kind of a mix styles and let's see how it will turn out <laughs> And I'm gonna create very meaningful design. I'm gonna create a story on the jacket And you know how I love to create designs with an idea because I think that when you create something meaningful on your clothes you get not only customized piece of clothing but a piece of art and design is gonna be about toxic love. It's gonna be a bit sad and dark design. But as I said, I want to keep uh, this grunge aesthetic of flannel shirt. And for those of you who don't know, uh, flannel shirts became very popular in 90s with the rise of grunge music. And for me, flannel shirts from thrift store are definitely about grunge, about grunge music and grunge aesthetic. And I want to create design in graffiti style, so I want to add a lot of writings, details, paint splashes and uh, spray paint. <laughs> uh, I love to use spray paints, I discovered them recently and they are so cool, they look so cool on clothes. But they smell so bad, so you definitely need to open windows using them. And each detail in my design is gonna have a meaning. It's gonna be about uh, empty promises, words which hurt, sadness, anger, sleepless nights, 
uh, feeling that you want to get free but it's not that easy yeah it's gonna be about toxic love <laughs> And as always I'm painting freehand, but if you're a beginner, of course, you need to use transfer paper to transfer your design from paper to the jacket or to the shirt. And if you created such wide background, you can easily transfer your design using transfer paper. And if it was a bit hard to apply fabric paint on a flannel fabric, it's definitely not hard to paint on this white background because white fabric paint created quite a smooth surface and it's pretty easy to paint on it. And by the way, those trendy jackets, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they're a bit different. Most of them made from a wool or wool blend fabric or a fleece, uh, and it's definitely would have been harder to paint on such fabrics. So if you want to paint on a jacket, search for a flannel fabric jacket. You know guys, I'm thinking now, why I always write on clothes in English and why I've never written anything on clothes in my native language, which is Russian. And uh, actually clothes with Russian words and phrases are a part of a fashion world. <laughs> so let's add some Russian to the jacket, because why not? <laughs> And of course, I'm gonna add phrases uh, meaningful for this design. It's gonna be love yourself and then question, how are you? And now let's add a bit mess. <laughs> I'm gonna pour paint, black paint on the jacket. And it's also one of my favorite techniques, uh, mixing fabric paint with a small amount of water and then pouring it on the jacket to create beautiful paint splashes. And of course, front side, just a couple of details, a couple of writings uh, to connect front side and back side with one idea.
you know guys I was very excited at the beginning because I didn't know what to expect from flannel fabric and how hard it will be to paint it but it turned out that it's not that hard as it seems and you can definitely paint on flannel shirts flannel jackets or whatever i hope guys you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to smash that like button to support my art and my channel and if you are new here subscribe for more painting on clothes videos and here is the final result <laughs> <laughs>